you need me to make another ice machine run? You know, there's some wounds that ice can't heal. <laughs> <laughs> what? You, you have to admit, that was a pretty cheesy line. <laughs> you know, you have a really strange way of apologizing. I'm sorry. It's just... We've been working through this all night, and I think I'm starting to lose it. <laughs> Look, you know how I truly feel. You also know me better than anyone else. I made a stupid decision to protect you when we were kids, and it just kept escalating from there. I wanted to tell you so many times, but it got harder and harder, especially when you started leaving the tickets. I couldn't bring myself to take that away from you. It would be like you finding out that America's Next Top hand model was fixed. Wait, is it? Did you hear something? <laughs> no. I was just using that as an example. <sighs> okay. Because I don't think I can handle that right now. I think I always knew deep down that it was all too good to be true. That I'd never meet them. But... I guess a part of me wanted to believe that maybe something bigger would come out of all of this. That it wasn't just about action figures or championships or entertaining millions of people. That it would help me find a part of myself that was missing. But maybe something bigger did come out of all of this. This wasn't about finding two people who would fill a hole in your life. It was about millions of people finding you to fill holes in their lives. <laughs> now that was cheesy. <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> Maybe. I have something for you. Please don't tell me this is a letter from my long lost aunt and uncle telling me to forgive my best friend. Just open it. <sighs> What's this all about? It's our new list. On one of my ice machine runs, or maybe it was one of the times you locked me out of the room, I can't remember, but I made some phone calls to management, and it's unprecedented, but they've agreed to let us get revenge on Brooklyn and Samoa Joe at tomorrow night's WrestleMania, assuming you're on board. I guess we're coming out of retirement. This has to be some kind of record. <laughs> There's one other thing you need to know. Brooklyn and Samoa Joe agreed to the match, but only if we put our Hall of Fame spots on the line. You really want to do this? If we don't fight back after what they did, then we don't deserve those spots. Package deal. I'm in. Hey, just wanted to let you know, I left two open seats in the audience just like you always did. Why? I mean, obviously my birth parents aren't showing up anytime soon. So was it just for good luck or out of respect or something? You'll see. In just a few hours, whatever horrible nightmare we've been living in will finally come to an end. When the American hero takes her rightful spot in the WWE Hall of Fame alongside Samoa Joe. You know, there aren't many things that truly give me joy, but ruining your big moment the other night and now being able to destroy your entire legacies forever? This is going to be the happiest time of my life. Goodbye forever, hothead.
Oh, we had a lot of things planned for today's WrestleMania preview show, but all those went out the window at the Hall of Fame ceremony when Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe assaulted Red and Trey, destroying the moment they'd been working for their entire careers. There's, there's just a lot to digest here. We're just on the outside covering this, so imagine what Red and Trey have been working through. This is their entire lives. I mean, Red had been keeping that secret from Trey all those years. How do you deal with that? Look, I, I'll be the first to admit, I've taken Red's side since day one, and she obviously, she has some things she needs to reconcile with Trey, but that's between them. Yeah. And, and on the flip side, in no way does it excuse what Brooklyn did. Well, so yeah. please... Kit, don't try to defend Brooklyn like you always do. I am, I'm, I'm just not in the mood. Oh, that's not what I'm doing. And honestly, I can't this time. Like you said, Red and Trey have their own stuff to work out, but what Brooklyn did crossed the line. That wasn't one-upping Red and Trey or outsmarting them. That was disgraceful. And I'm happy that apparently Red and Trey have been able to work out their issues to the extent that they'll be able to fight back against Brooklyn and Samoa Joe at WrestleMania. For once, I agree with everything you said, but what will this cost Red and Trey? If they lose the match, they lose their Hall of Fame spots. And what if that was Brooklyn's goal all along and they're just playing right into it? Red and Trey, they have nothing to gain and, and everything to lose. Well, I wouldn't say they have nothing to gain. I mean, they have their pride and their honor to uphold. And and maybe if they defeat Brooklyn and Joe, they can finally stop Brooklyn from tormenting them ever again. I mean, the logical side of me doesn't know if that will happen, but in my heart, I hope that's what we'll see tonight. Well, we're on the same page there. Good luck to Red and Trey. Yeah. And we'll be pulling for you. Totally. It doesn't matter how tonight turns out, because either way, I'm proud of how far you and Red have come. I mean, sure, it'd be nice to be able to say I trained two WWE Hall of Famers, and I could probably raise my rates again. But like I said, doesn't matter. Well, I know we didn't always see eye to eye, but me and Red owe you for helping us get our start. What do you mean we didn't see eye to eye? You were my prize student. Never doubted you once. I used to call you Sure Thing Trey. Are you serious? You thought I'd be a manager at best, and you definitely didn't think I'd make it to WWE, let alone become a Hall of Famer. I think you said something about pooping golden nuggets? I don't recall that. Anyway, good luck, Sure Thing. Look, I know we haven't spoken much since I've been gone, but I just wanted to say I'm pulling for you tonight. And Brooklyn had no right to exploit your past and ruin your big moment. I appreciate you saying that. But I also know how your impatience and temper can get the best of you sometimes. So I'm a little worried that you rushed into this match, especially considering your condition and what's at stake. Thanks for your concern, seriously. But this is something we have to do. No matter what we could lose in the process. I know you're going to tell us it's not too late to change our minds about the match and putting our Hall of Fame spots on the line, but we need to do this. I wasn't going to say that at all. It's actually way too late to change your minds. The match is happening. Oh. Okay, well, that's good then. I was going to say that if things don't go well... Brooklyn and Samoa Joe can't erase your legacies. Everything you worked for and accomplished won't just disappear. It sounds like you don't think we can win. Look, you both have defied the odds before, but I'm just being realistic. <laughs> when it comes time to honor the Hall of Fame class tonight, we'll be out there front and center. It's time for the greatest spectacle in sports entertainment. Welcome to WrestleMania. If you've somehow been off the grid for the past 24 hours, then you missed the news that we have a huge last minute change to tonight's event. After being ambushed at the conclusion of their Hall of Fame speech, Red and Trey 
will seek revenge against Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe. And saying that the stakes are high feels like a severe understatement. If Brooklyn and Samoa Joe can defeat Red and Trey, they will take their spots in the WWE Hall of Fame. And we've never seen anything like this before, and it's highly improbable we ever will again. With respect to every competitor who enters the ring tonight and every championship that's contested, it's now time for the most important match of the evening. Ray and Trey are here to take on Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe with their Hall of Fame spots on the line. It's truly impressive Ray and Trey overcame both physical and emotional trauma to be here tonight. But I suppose revenge can motivate someone to do just about anything, including putting everything they've dreamed of and worked for at risk. Uh, guys, what are these pieces of paper falling down from above? I believe it's supposed to symbolize their new list, and there's only one thing on it. Beat Brooklyn and Samoa Joe at WrestleMania. This is why I left the two seats. Time to move on. I'm glad you're here. I think that might have been Trey's adopted parents sitting at ringside. I think you're right, Myron. And now here are the two superstars who want nothing more than to take everything from Red and Trey to essentially erase their legacies in a single night. It's the so-called American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe. Yeah, these two have a much different kind of bond than Red and Trey. It's an affiliation based on shared hatred for their opponents tonight, dating back years in both cases. Full disclosure, I think we're looking at the newest members of the WWE Hall of Fame class. Brooklyn and Samoa Joe have been unstoppable from both a mental and physical standpoint since the moment they joined forces. Red and Trey would have a hard time stopping them if they were at full strength, and we know they're not even close to that. And there you see Red and Brooklyn facing off. There is so much history between these two. We're talking decades of hostility. I don't know if it'll ever end, but we'll get at least some kind of resolution after tonight's contest is over. We're not sure who's going to start the match tonight. It actually looks like Brooklyn and Samoa Joe are discussing that right now. Apparently, it'll be Samoa Joe and Trey. Brooklyn's going to make Red wait to get her hands on her. Yet another calculated move from the American hero. This is it. Here we go. WrestleMania is often called the showcase of the immortals. But Red and Trey aren't here to showcase their immortality. They're here to try to save it by retaining their spots in the WWE Hall of Fame. The fact that Red and Trey are even fighting alongside each other after Brooklyn Von Braun destroyed their original career-defining list and nearly did the same thing to their friendship just proves their bond is unbreakable. They truly are a package deal. While I agree with you on that, you have to consider what I said earlier. There's no way Red and Trey are 100 or even 50% after the brutal attack just two nights ago. Mark my words, that will be a factor at some point in this career-defining match. Boom! Oh, step up in Jaguri in the corner. In off the tag. Just relentless. Not what she was looking for. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. Wow. Oh, oh, God. Great reflexes. Wow, what a sequence. Oh, stop in the leg. Just nasty. 
She got out of the way there. Her evasion techniques are on point. Guys, I noticed the demeanor on Samoa Joe's face never changes. That look of disgust, that look of focus, that cold, calculating body language Samoa Joe holds on to to maintain his dominance. It's something that has turned Joe's stare into something to fear. What are we going to see here? Stop. Uh, boom. Oh. What impact. When you made your observation of Samoa Joe's demeanor, Byron, it painted a chilling picture. I can only imagine how frightening it can be to stand across from a man who can intimidate you with just a glance your way. Look, you look at this. What height. She's going for the cover. And the kick out. Yeah, seemed to be just testing the waters a bit there. Breaker. That could cause long-term damage. Power slam. She's taking a beating here. Watch out here. Face buster. Man, that was vicious. Stomping down. Uh-oh. What a scent. He can do it here. And he kicks out. Oh, wow. Ball oh, the European uppercut. Comes in off the tag. Oh, running cross body. She's looking a bit out of it here. Ooh, impressive counter. Well, Nelson. What a shot. Wasn't expecting that. Close line. Well, that'll leave a mark. Great athleticism. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Versus, can't you take advantage? Trying to build momentum. Complete control. Here it comes. Look at this. Picking up speed. Roll through. This superstar becoming unglued. Insecurity. She must be close to finish now. I'm not used to seeing this. Here she goes. Ready for takeoff. I can't believe it. I hate to question her, Cole, but that was just plain silly. Why would you do that at this point in the match? Oh, targeting the stomach. Working together here. Look at this. Striking blow. So ruthless. Slap! Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, she did. Well scouted reversal there. Eludes the attack. What a hurricanrana. And the cover for the win. This is it. Oh, somehow. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. We're about to see. Dual power bombs! Will 
that be the deciding factor? Samoa Joe is getting overwhelmed. That's too early for that. Man. Spinning back fist. Snap suplex. He's going for the pin. He got body on body there, but that's about it. He's got some more fight in him, guys. She ducks out of the way there. Going up top. Look out. Perched up top. Diving knee drop. He has just completely lost his wind. I'm not sure he has much left. Great reversal. I got to say, I'm impressed. Selena Del Sol. He's looking to fly. Here we go. Elbow drop. Pearson. to the midsection, sunset flip. Oh, oh, into a power bomb. Samoa Joe isn't looking so hot, guys. Oh, man, Joe doesn't even know where he is. And no luck against Joe there. Uh-uh. Oh, oh, man. The end is looming now. I think this one's over. Job by Samoa Joe. Joe just punishing his opponent. I think we're gonna get a third. Camara plex from Joe. Oh, another kick out. How in the world? Unreal. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. Building momentum. Uh -oh. Uh oh Wait a minute. Nice recovery. Going up to the top. Big axe handle. Fired up. Not looking good right now. He might have been waiting on that one. Whoa, it's another reversal. Is a great Trey escapes the Yurinagi, and now he's got Samoa Joe in the Coquina clutch. Red takes Brooklyn down. Hold on, is this actually happening? It is. Red and Trey of Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe locked in their own submission hold. After everything that's happened among these four adversaries, this feels like the perfect ending. Don't get ahead of yourself. They need to actually finish them off. Can Red and Trey do the unthinkable? Will Brooklyn and Samoa Joe give up? They tapped. It's over. Red and Trey have pulled off the impossible and ensured that they will forever be honored in the WWE Hall of Fame. This match takes place 20 times, and on 19 of those occasions, Brooklyn and Samoa Joe get the win, but not tonight. This was special. This was your night, Red and Trey. Congratulations for the second time on your Hall of Fame induction. We're proud of you, son. Can I, I, I still call you that? Yeah. We have a lot of catching up to do.
I'm sorry about that. We all are. It's okay. Ooh, we, we, we have something for you. There's some maintenance guy from the arena was selling it online. What's it? Luckily, we've gotten good at puzzles in our old age. Oh my gosh! I thought I lost you, but you did. There's one thing left on there we need to finish crossing off. It appears that the list has somehow been salvaged. Red and Trey can now pick up where they left off two nights ago. Tonight, we witness the unexpected. An unexpected victory. An unexpected reconciliation. And finally, the unexpected return of what some might think is just an old scrap of paper. What was more than that to Red and Trey? It's what led them to this very moment that to them was expected all along. They may not have known how they'd end up here, but they knew when they created that that this was their destiny. Well said, Michael. So every bit of this in. Red and Trey, you deserve it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the winners of tonight's match and still members of the WWE Hall of Fame.